Hey guys, it's me, Callie, and I haven't been on here in a year, but I mean, I'm in college, just college life, right? Being busy with classes and not partying all the time, as all college students say, I don't party that much. Just don't look at my bank account. And so, the, if you can't tell by the title, this is a story time, because I want to be a meme too. So this is uh, this is the story of how my roommate housed a homeless drug dealer. So I go to school in Colorado. So you can insert your little pot joke right here because I I see it coming already. It was really weird because like it was this guy who had a dog. It's which I love the dog. Dog with cutest little dog ever. And so he's just like randomly sleeping on like. The laundry room section of my campus like the housing all surrounds like different things like we had a free laundry and dryer thing we had uh they weren't dorms they were residence halls because we had bathrooms and like I had my own room another roommate had another and then two of them shared a room which plays a big part later on in the story and so they my roommate's like, hey, you can stay here for the night. Because, I mean, we have a very tiny couch that you can stay on. And, I mean, I was cool with my roommates at the time. So, I was like, oh, yeah, well, sure. Like, I, we don't know him. Like, he can't be that bad. He's on a college campus. Yeah. So, that happened. And so, it, at first, it wasn't bad. And then my roommate started smoking more because... Apparently, it's Colorado. You have roommates that will do that a lot. And so, it was weird. It, it just got to a point where, like, he, I'm, he, he was a drug dealer. But I'm not going to name names because. <laughs> so, after, it goes on for like a couple weeks where it's like, I'll see him sleeping and then he started bringing his friend and then it was just like they're all just in the main room sleeping on the floor and I'm just like oh hey I need to get to the bathroom I need to brush my teeth I got an ADM class I gotta get to and I don't want to go and I do want, not want to use this as an excuse not to go so I finally like got all that stuff and did everything but uh, they started eating my food and that got really weird just because like I was a college kid I didn't have that much money and so it just got to a point where like I can't afford to feed people I can barely afford to feed myself and I have a food plan let alone I'm buying cereal but I was it was it just got to a point where like I started hiding my food like, that's how bad it got. Like, I had everything stashed away, telling myself I don't need it. I don't need it out there. They they can have whatever they decide to bring. And, like, they kept eating the food out of the fridge. And I was just getting upset. I spent my money on that. I'm going to eat all of it. And so, it got to a point where I couldn't even put food in my fridge. Because I couldn't fit in my room at the time, so it was out in the main room. And so it got to a point where I'm just so annoyed and I didn't really think of this at the time. I don't know why. I was kind of dumb. But I started going like, oh wow, I can't find my DS. Where is it? And I'm like, okay, maybe I just misplaced it. I can't find it. But maybe it's somewhere in my room. I just can't find it. And then I'm like, wait, where's my tablet too? Because I couldn't find that either. And that's where I had like some notes on it. I had a lot of stuff already like saved on it. And I'm like, okay, I'll I'll find it. I will find it. <laughs> don't worry about it. So I'd go to my roommates. I'm like, hey, do you know where my tablet is? I don't know where it is. It, is it in your room by chance? Did I leave it there? I don't know what I did. And they're like, no, 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 no. It's not in our room. It, I don't see it. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it since like October. And I think I mentioned this in November. And so they're like, and then finally, uh, 
the two homeless drug dealer guys get kicked out because they finally got caught on campus. And I'm like, okay, that was weird. And I, I get to a point where I'm like, okay, I, I have searched everywhere. I cannot find anything. I couldn't find my DS and I couldn't find my uh, tablet. And I was really mad. Not, alone, not only were my notes gone, but Animal Crossing was gone. <laughs> and I was ticked off. I, was, I had gone so far and I was very obsessed with that game at that time. I don't know why, but I was so happy to have that game and then it got stolen. I think I had that DS for maybe like three months and it was gone. Because I was like, hey, I have the money to buy this. I'm going to buy this because I'm horrible with my money. And... Woo. And so I'm sitting there and I'm like, they may have stolen it. I didn't think about it at the time. And then I didn't have the serial number for my DS, so I was kind of like SOL with that one. But I had the serial number, yeah, the serial number for the tablet. And I was like, okay, I'll call the campus police and I'll be like, hey, I need to put in, uh, I need to put in a stolen thing for my tablet. And so they're like, yeah, yeah, what's the serial number? Here's your case file. We'll let you know if we hear anything. And I think it was like a couple weeks later, cause I was getting so mad. Cause there was at one point then, one of my roommates actually didn't come back after Thanksgiving because she was not doing well in her classes. And so one of the other roommate had let the other, had let one of the homeless guys back in and you, you could walk in the room and smell what they were doing. So I mean, it was getting to a point where I was like, okay, I can't do this. And so one of my friends called in and was like, hey, this, the guy that is not supposed to be on campus is with so-and-so just letting you know like they shouldn't be here so they act end up actually finding him like not even using that call from my friend and they're like I think I I ended up going to this dinosaur museum with my friend because I was like I'm upset and I'm obsessed with dinosaurs where should I go the dinosaur museum and so we go and while we're like in one of the exhibits I get a call on my phone and I'm like what's this like and they're like, hello, they're like, hello, is Callie there? And I'm like, yes, this is her. And they're like, oh, so we found your tablet. And they're like, oh yeah, because they had also just got him too. And like, they ended up getting it all back. And like, I think, because originally my tablet had just a tablet and keyboard. And so I ended up getting that back. And he ended up getting taken away, which, I mean, it was to a point where I was really upset that he, my stuff had actually gotten stolen. And it was like, I don't know. And so it got to a point where one of my roommates, the one who had left, started texting me saying like, oh, he's innocent, an innocent man and you're just sending him off because he's homeless and all this. But in reality, then... In reality, he had actually stolen my stuff, and I told him, like, I told her, hey, he stole my stuff, I couldn't do anything about it, this is my stuff that was stolen, and he, I couldn't do anything about it. So, yeah, that's my story. If you would like more of these, comment, like, subscribe, maybe I'll tell more.